In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a custom experience when you host a server in Battlefield 2042 Portal. As you may know, when you host a game within Battlefield 2042, you cannot change any of the settings. But if you click on the link that's in the description below, you will end up on a page that looks like this. You can now go ahead and click on create something new. We will now have loads of different settings that we can go through to create our own experience server. So as you can see straight away we can choose the game mode. I'm going to go ahead and select team deathmatch and we can then click on map rotation. You can now choose the maps that you'd like to use in your hosted server. I'm just going to throw in a few random maps and once you're happy click on game mode details. You can now choose how many human players you'd like to have in your server. As you can see by default it's on 32 but we can change this all the way to 128. You can also change the squad spawn type and we can also change the per squad character limit. Once you change those settings, click on gameplay and you will now have a load more options you can choose from. I'm not going to go and read them all, but as you can see you can change friendly fire, we can choose if we want extreme weather events to happen and you can even turn aim assist on or off. If we now click on to soldier, you have loads more options here to choose from. Once you've gone through these options, Go ahead and click onto vehicle and you have even more options to choose from for the vehicles. We can now click on user interface and you can now choose if you want a compass to be displayed, a mini map, a HUD and you also have the other three options below. You can also choose which teams you'd like to have the user interface. So if you click on this little padlock icon here, as you can see I can now select between the two teams. We have team 1, then we have team 2. You can toggle this one to off and that will mean that team 2 will not have the compass but team 1 will. Once you change those options go ahead and click on AI and you can now choose if you would like to have AI bots in your server. If you do want to have AI bots in your server then you can move this bar here up or down to choose the amount of bots you'd like and you can also choose which teams you want them on as well by clicking on the padlock icon. If you cannot move the bar then that's because you've got too many human players allowed. So if we go back to core and then go down to game mode details and if you tone the maximum human players down and then if we go back to AI you can now change the bar up and down. Once you have decided on your options for AI we can now click onto teams. You can now choose the teams that you'd like to use in your server. I'm just going to select Battlefield 2042. Once you've done this we can now click onto characters and you can choose which characters you'd like to use and we can then click onto weapons and you can choose which weapons you'd like to have used in your server. We can then go to attachments and you can then do the same and we can also go to vehicles which will also be the same. Once you have changed all those options you then have gadgets. And once you set the gadgets, we can now go to Rules Editor. In this video, we won't actually be taking a look at the rules, but if you do want to play around with the rules, then feel free to. Once you are happy with all your options, we can now click on the folder icon on the right hand side. You now need to give your experience a name. I'm just going to call this CS Test, and then you need to give it a description. I'm just going to call it Test. You now need to click on to Create, and you can now close this down and boot up Battlefield 2042. If you now click on to host and then click on to my experiences, you will now see the experience that you created with your custom settings. You can now click on to host and you can host your server with those settings that you just set. So that is how you create a custom host server in Battlefield 2042. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.